to build a Hackintosh or not to build a Hackintosh? That is the question. All right. Anyways, for those who don't know, uh, I'm not an Apple fan, but I am a Mac fan. You can see there in the background, I have uh, two Macs. Uh, I have an iMac back there. Boom. And then I have a Mac Pro, which is right there. That's the one hooked up to the two monitors, right? So, anyways, I'm an artist. At least I'm trying to be an artist. So, I have a little studio set up at my house. And it's kind of terrible because I hardly use it. And I wake up in the studio and I never go to the studio. It's a sad story. But anyways, and I'm also a nerd. So, I want to build a hack and time. Only dilemma is that it's not cheap. It's approximately 1300 bucks. Uh, I actually ran the numbers uh, on my build, how much it costs. I, I can probably throw a picture up there. So I decided, should I build a Hackintosh or should I upgrade my Mac Pro, which is an awesome workhorse right there. It gets me through just about everything. And I uh, always wanted one of these things. Now, I've had this for quite some time now. I'm over it. I mean, I've wanted a cheese grater Mac. See, it kind of looks like a cheese grater if you look at it. Since uh, the G4 that had only the one CD tray before the Mac, the original Mac Pro came out in 2006. My model is a, a eight core 2008 model. So I was debating whether or not I should upgrade to like a 2010 or to a 2012 model, even a trash can Mac. I kind of, those have grown on me. And uh, I'm not sure, so. You guys let me know what you think I should do. I mean, I already slightly made up a decision. I've, I've dumped some money into upgrading this uh, Mac, Mac Pro right here. I bought a few things right here. But uh, for the most part, this thing gets the job done. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Click right there. Boom. About this Mac. As you can see, we got early 2008 model has two... 2.8 quad core Intel Xeon processors in there, 10 gigs of RAM, 800 megahertz DDR2, and uh, 500 gig startup disk on top of have another 500 gigger in there. That let's see if we can get it to focus. Yeah, barely, barely any use on it. I was contemplating upgrading my iMac. I'm definitely doing that. Uh, I'm getting one that's 2019, 11, 12. That's four years newer. You know, the slightly thin one. It's thinner one, I should say. This one gets the job done. I, this is what I edit all my YouTube videos on. It's my, it's my page right there. And uh, lately, this uh, I had my processor bottom out on here a couple times. Go ahead and, and slide that over there like that. And uh, same thing with that one. Let's go ahead and slide that over there. And I got a project right here. It's funny. It'll probably play all the way through just because I, I got it on tape. Let's see. It's just a song I did. Do you ever feel like you're in a battle? A battle from within? Deep within. It's like... You try to be a good person, yeah. but everybody wants to bring out the ignorant and, and, it's, and it's funny, it's working beautiful and you choose to cope behind right you now. Jokes. Ah, <laughs> I mean, it's hard trying. Oh, did it do it? Where we at? Oh, see what we got? System overload. The audio engine unable to process all required data in time. Blah blah blah. It says you can try increasing the I/O buffer size. I, you know what? On my on my laptops, I do I do that. On my MacBooks, but uh, I figure I got an eight core computer. I should have to do that. If I go look at my buffer size, which I'm not sure what it is right now. Let's go ahead and see if I can get it on camera. Let's see those. This is where my input output buffer settings was at which is 256 which is actually kind of high i thought it was probably at 128 or lower uh raising it any higher probably wouldn't even make any difference honestly anything past 512 really doesn't really doesn't make a difference so uh what we have here is some things i purchased to give good old 
computer upgrade. These are a couple hard drives right here. This is a two terabyte. I don't know. Let's see. IBM two terabyte. And I got another white label two terabyte hard drive. Uh, the Mac Pro right there has four slots for uh, hard drives. And I'm currently... I'm currently using two, and I'm going to raid those two. See, I'm only using two, so I can I got room for two more hard drives. And as uh, you've seen earlier, there's the maximum RAM you can put in here is uh, 32 gigs. I'm running 10 at the moment. And uh, I also have a box right here, which contains... Uh, out there we got two four gig chips right there with the heat sinks on them already so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this thing open and uh, put these hard drives and the RAM in there and see if it makes any difference boom Got the beast unhooked. Let's go ahead and pop this thing open. Turn it around. It's a lat somewhere on the back of here. I think it's right here. Lift that open. And then size pop off right there. Now we're in there. All right, computers put back together, hard drives in there, RAM in there, make sure I ain't break nothing. Sees the the hard drive that's in there. Go ahead and initialize. Let's see. Sees that one. Sees that one. Five hundred gig. It says the attachy two terabyte. And it's only seeing one of my two terabyte hard drives. I guess I gotta send the other one back. Got three terabytes hard drive space. A little upgrade. And that's pretty much it. So, just got done doing upgrades to my computer. Ran a, a new benchmark. I use Geek, uh, Geekbench 3. It's just like a demo, so it only runs it at 32 bits. And uh, it got slightly faster, just putting eight more gigs of RAM in there. I didn't expect it to get too much more faster. Taking uh, that. I didn't. Uh, what the fuck are you doing here? Why would you like getting that box up? So, wow, the neighbors. Anyway, more faster. 
you can knock off the hard drives off the list. So I, to, up, to finish doing my upgrades on the list, I got 675 more dollars to spend. What the fuck are you doing? Another reason I want to build a Hackintosh is because I can do Windows on it and I can uh, do some some gaming. I mean, the Mac Pro gets the job done for making music. I mean, that's why I bought it, is to make music for. I didn't buy it to play games on, but if, uh, if I build a Hack Pro, I can play games on it. I can customize it. And uh, the thing about using uh, upgrading that older 2008 Mac Pro is... Uh, the simple fact is that the RAM is slow. I can be putting in some 2400 sticks in there, at least 1600 you know, megahertz sticks by now. So, I don't know. If, uh, if I get 100 likes on this video, I'll build a Hackintosh. I'll take that plunge, come out of pocket, a thousand plus dollars, and I'll build it. It might take me a few weeks to conjure up all that money, but. If you guys want me to do it, I'll get it done. If not, I'll just continue upgrading my 2008 Mac Pro, and that'll be done a lot sooner because it's literally half the price. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Once again, it's your boy Ill, one i 2 ls I holla at you.